Hi, my name is Kevin Hall, CEO of Global Integration. We are specialists in matrix management, virtual teams and global working. We developed the world's first virtual team training back in 1994 and since then we've delivered over 100,000 participant days of training in this field. In this period virtual teams have become the norm for many organisations. A recent survey in the UK found that up to 80% of professional and managerial people now spend at least some of their time working in a virtual team. Virtual teams, however, can come in several flavours and the skills we need to lead and work in these teams will depend on the precise blend of challenges you face. We tend to think in terms of four types of virtual teams your team may be one or a combination of these. Traditional teams tended to have people in the same place, often from the same culture, and working together intensively on a collaborative goal. Then the world became more complex. We started to introduce different types of ad hoc and virtual teams as work increasingly crossed the traditional vertical silos of function and geography. Remote teams are separated by distance and most communication is done through technology. If these remote teams operate internationally, there are additional challenges of managing cultural differences and managing across time zones. Virtual reporting teams are where individuals only spend a proportion of their time working on the team and are members of multiple teams. Our online benchmarking survey shows that on average people are now a member of five of these teams. The manager may have dotted line control over people or may operate purely through influence. Matrix virtual teams are where individuals work across the functional silos, have multiple reporting lines, several bosses and competing goals. The matrix may also extend outside the traditional boundaries of the organisation Extended virtual teams increasingly encompass customers, suppliers or partners outside the organisation who we need to collaborate with effectively. Because each of these types of virtual team has a unique blend of challenges, we developed a series of modules to address the challenges of working across distance, cultures, time zones, organisational complexity such as the matrix, and where we have different levels of formal control over the members of the team. Our virtual team training is typically targeted at either virtual team leaders, which is focused on developing the skills and capabilities to lead these complex teams, or at virtual team working, which is focused on building the skills to work with colleagues in a complex virtual environment. These can be run either as open enrolment skill building programs or with intact teams to help them quickly implement the learning. You're the expert in your specific needs and we work with you often using our virtual teams benchmarking survey to identify how your specific virtual team or organisation compares with others. Based on this we can quickly put together a program specific to your needs but based on our existing intellectual property. If you'd like to find out more about our virtual team working training and how it can be tailored to your specific needs, you can find out more about this on our website or by talking to one of our specialists. If you'd like to keep up to date with our videos, podcasts and other resources on working in complex companies, please join one of our social networks. In the meantime, I wish you good luck and I hope you found this video useful. Thank you.